Hey guys, David Hayward here, your Naked Pastor. Uh, last week I posted a cartoon of a guy leaving the church and the, somebody's yelling out of the church, good luck finding any friends, because the church, the, the person's right. When, when, when we leave the church, um, it's often we are stuck with trying to figure out how to find friends. And a lot of people experience a lot of loneliness when they leave the church. Because the church really does have a corner on the market. Um, it, its greatest asset, I've always argued, is community. Instant community. I mean, when you walk into a church, you have instant community in, in many churches. You've got, you know, small groups. You've got Bible studies, prayer meetings. You've got potluck suppers. You've got, uh, you know, uh, potential babysitters. Maybe there's a car mechanic or two. There's insurance agents. There's this, there's that, the, the other thing. And you're just handed, you know, there's other single moms, there's young mothers, young fathers, you know, uh, people interested in sports, all this kind of thing, musicians. And, and you just, you know, you, you are handed this whole network of relationships. And when many people leave the church, like I did in 2010, you're stuck with having to figure out how to make friends. And for a lot of people, that's just a very strange feeling because, you know, we've been handed friends by the church for so many years, our whole lives maybe. And now we're kind of like normal people who have to make friends. And so what I recommend is, first of all, you have to be friendly. You have to make yourself a friend. You have to be a friend first. So you have to think about all the time, and you got to be intentional about this. People aren't going to come and knock on your door and say, will you be my friend? You have to be intentional about being a friend. So you, you, you act as though you're friendly. You, you act as though you're available. You act as though you're interested in doing things with other people. And you you initiate. Like Lisa and I, we made a deal with one another a while ago. The only way things are going to happen is if we initiate. And because often many people don't. They're busy. They're tired. Uh, they're overwhelmed. Maybe they're insecure or whatever. And, and so Lisa and I just say, look, we got to initiate or else nothing's going to happen. And so that's what we do. So we, we go back. We... we we um, dig up old friends. I don't mean dead ones who dead and buried. We dig them up, <laughs> prop them in the corner and have a conversation. No, what I mean is we go back and figure out, okay, what are friends we've had in the past that maybe we can reignite our friendship with or maybe even reconcile with. And there's been a couple of people that we've done that with and it's worked. And so that's one way, maybe old friends from high school. I don't know, but I live way far away from where I grew up. Um, uh, maybe join groups. And I want to warn you right now, it's not like church. No other groups like church, okay? It's just different. But it might be a way for you to meet friends. Maybe it's through, you know, um, joining the gym or joining a yoga class or joining an art class or, or doing this or that or the other thing. Just figure out. And when you find somebody that you're kind of attracted to, you think, well, I think we could be friends. Pursue it. Initiate. Um, be the friend. And, and there's so many other ways. But that's my number one is be the friend and initiate, act, you know, get people and in, get involved in other people's lives and get other people interested in your life. And it, it will happen over time. It's taken Lisa and I some years, but uh, now we're, we've, we're building friendships with people and we're busy now with, with friends, you know, and uh, we, we are friendly. We make ourselves available and we initiate and we look, we're, we're intentional about having friendships. So make some comments. I'll try to answer your questions. Uh, I love you guys. I know leaving the church is really difficult, but listen, there is life beyond and it's great. Peace.